Hello and welcome back to Sovereign RPG. This is going to be the first in our tutorial series for Eve Echoes. And we're going to start off with a plain and simple character creation. Sorry that this has taken so long to do, but I promise you that I'm working as hard as I can to get all this content to you. So let's get right into this tutorial. So as soon as you click your new character at the beginning, you're offered a choice of four factions. Now a little disclaimer in there, the races have no real impact on your choice. None of them have that much of an impact over the other. The starting skills that you would normally gain can be retrained within the hour on the open beta. We have four factions to choose from. Firstly will be the Amar. The Amar are a highly religious faction and shockingly accepting of slavery. But do not let this deter you as they have some of the prettiest and most beautiful ships in the game. Now moving on to the Galente. The Galente are more of your socialist state, one that favors immigration and are some of the most outstanding leaders, scientists and businessmen in modern history. They also have one of the largest social standings in the game with many alliances with many races. But that is just from a lore perspective, it has no bearing on their actual gameplay. The Kaldari, which my corp favors more. These guys are a powerful corporate dictatorship. They're ruthless and efficient, both behind closed doors and on the battlefield. And lastly, we have the Mimitar. One of my personal least favorite ship designs. I'm not too into the bucket of bolts look, but I bet some of you are because they do have some of the most powerful PVP ships in EVE Online. These guys were founded on a great rebellion supported by the Galante Federation and only a quarter of the Mimitars actually live in the Republic. The rest are scattered across all corners of New Eden spread out among all the different regions and all the different factions and the Amar still enslave quite a lot of them. These guys are your sort of rebellious types fighting for survival, trapping their ships together with bits of sellotape and they like to move around a lot. If you've ever played Mass Effect, these guys are basically the Quarian race, except the Quarians were the slavers and the Mimitars were the slaves. At the moment in Eve Echoes, you don't get to fully create your character. There is a refresh button which can change up what your characters look like, but they haven't got a slider feature or any kind of change features at this moment in time. And here's a quick look at all four of the races, their styles and a ridiculous bowl haircut. Once you've decided on which race you are, remembering that no matter what people say, you do not need to min max your character. Go wherever you find the most attractive to yourself. Once we get to the next page, you're basically picking your name and it shows you a little details on the bloodline that you picked, which is like picking a race within the faction and your identity number, which Netties and CCP use to identify you as a player. Once you pick your name, as there are no corpse at the moment, there's no way to differentiate between people, but do not add your tags before your name as this will always be there and if character names get saved through the open beta you're going to be named your corp tag and your name with another corp tag at the front just a little heads up for you you then click on confirm identity in the bottom right hand side i've named this character sovereign pr2 as this will be one of my planetary resource characters we'll also be going over that in another tutorial once inside the game you'll have a little pop-up from susan calvin or the name of another person from another faction this is basically the start of the tutorial once you click on the chat box, you'll skip through to what is known as the intelligence assistant and you can click confirm or refuse if you'd like to do this tutorial. If you've never played EVE Online, I would definitely recommend it. It will teach you all of the controls. Even if you're an EVE veteran, the controls are very different, but I would give it a look at anyway. You don't get much more than a basic ship and a fitting for when you complete the tutorial, but you do get 50,000 SP as one of the rewards. It is well worth doing and only takes you 5 minutes. That'll be it for this first tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and it gives you a little bit of a background. In the next tutorial, we'll be going through traveling, warping, and the marketplace. If you're looking for a great team to learn all about industry, either in the safety of high sec or straight to to the end of null set where the riches are my corp trimark heavy industries would love to have you on board a link to our discord server can be found in the description below and remember if you like this put the thumbs up if you want to see some more please press that subscribe button and remember fly safe avoid local chat scams